as to the overall uh, network, the INIT uh, venture or the Egypt Network for Integrated Development, uh, it consists of four programs and for all of them the objective is job creation and income generation. For all of them we feel that if we're successful we can have replication, uh, which is what we call scaling up across other villages. We're using two major models, one's called the one uh, village, one product, and the other is cluster development. Uh, agriculture has about 15 new products which it's introducing, which are all best practice. Uh, and the same with basic services. Uh, one of the services which is really commercial is an eco-lodge, but it's linked both to agriculture and to services, and it's going to employ a lot of young people and provide for tourists a low-cost opportunity or option for visiting villages and eating their cuisine and buying their crafts and uh, mingling with the uh, culture of the South. Conference went splendidly in terms of the balance between people coming from the South. We had 50 people we invited, from which were NGOs with whom we cooperate and on whom we depend because they are on the ground in each of the villages we work with and for sustainability you need to have these partners. We had a good 30 people from local government and from central government because we deal with the Ministry for International Cooperation which has forged alliances for us and we have focal points in 11 different ministries industry, agriculture, health, uh, education, uh, and, 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 and you know, almost every possible way that we can work with the ministers of planning, and, uh, finance, and uh, uh, also uh, very much with the uh, labor issues. So I think we've done extremely well because a huge contingent of our founding members were here. Out of 70 there, I think there must have been a good 40 or more. We had friends from ERF, uh, we had friends from ECS, from uh, uh, a number of other research uh, think tanks. Also, we have a lot of friends in uh, the government research centers. And you know that the Ministry of Agriculture alone in Egypt has 15 specialized research centers. One in, for instance, aquaculture and fisheries, one in uh, organic fertilizers. So it's very specialized and they're helping us and they're also uh, finding it as it's a win-win occasion for us to be testing on the ground and working on the ground with the farmers and farmer field schools, etc., so that we all learn from each other and move forward in terms of development and implementation.